guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anspire. So today I'll be working on a request from Yuli the Killer who wanted me to draw her original characters April and Raymond. I looked at what she had provided as a reference and I thought that I should definitely do something that pictures them in a very romantic and tender light and I thought, well, what's better than rain and romantic walks? So yeah, basically I started drawing them uh, this way and then I realized that I don't actually know how to draw rain. And I was drawing them, I decided that I will actually um, make a video about it and see if we can learn together how to draw rain properly. So the first tutorial I used was Tiny Tips Let It Rain by Ranar. <laughs> Ranar. <laughs> it's right here. I'll just put it here. The interesting part about these three tutorials are that I'm not going to compare them one by one in their pros and cons because I think that my experience drawing with them was better for them to be together. So basically this tutorial uh, talked about how rain is in the environment not only how to actually draw the raindrops so we talked about how it reflects from surfaces or how it basically when it drops on the ground how it reflects the light and how you get other things that will show you how to how the environment changes during rain so basically uh, when I started drawing I realized that not only do I need to draw the rain but I need to alter certain things in my picture especially the part of Raymond that was in the rain. So what I did was I tried to make his hair look very wet. I tried to make his clothes look wet and sort of darker and I just worked on there and I tried to make a contrast with him and with April who is obviously protected by him and she's all dry. So guys um, the second tutorial is Realistic Rain by Summerfish, right here. So this tutorial was really good because it actually featured a detailed explanation on how to make the brush. And there are a lot of tutorials out there how to, on how to make this type of brush. And it was good because it was one of those tutorials and it, it was a tutorial that was well executed. So I used it and I made this brush and I made this effect that you see now on the screen. I quite liked it, but to be honest, it's not as realistic as um, as it's promised. So, uh, yeah, I guess there was something more to learn. Okay guys, so here is the third tutorial, which is the video tutorial Rain by Deva Payne or Diva Payne. So this tutorial is both on DeviantArt and on YouTube, so you can find it in both places. And this tutorial I think is amazing because it combines three different types of rain drawing for all of you who want to draw rain but are not sure how to go about it. If I think that I'm going to go with the second type of drawing that um, Deva featured. I'm going to be doing it as I'm doing it now on the screen and I'm going to leave the picture with it because I feel that the others make my picture too overly rainy. I don't know how else to say it because I was actually, I have a lot of bloopers and I was thinking about the word that I wanted to use but the rain is too thick, the droplets are too white and it just, it makes me think why did I um, try so hard to draw a background if it's not, <laughs> if it's not going to be seen because of all the rain. So I think that I will go with what I learned from the first tutorial on how the rain reacts with, uh, with clothes like umbrellas and the ground then I will go with um, all the knowledge that I have for brushes and finally I will use for the final picture what I learned from tutorial number three so I'm actually using them all in a way and I really appreciate the creators for making them and thank you very much I think they're great tutorials and I think they're great resources so please do check them out they're in the description below Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please comment and please subscribe. Um, I really appreciate all the support you can give me. And I'll be seeing you on Friday. Bye!